Well, good morning. It's a beautiful Sunday morning out there. Um, I got up, I had a coffee, and uh, I'm going to give you a little update on the uh, Les Paul uh, deal, uh, rebuild, uh, refinish that's going on in the background. I'm um, going to work a bit on it this morning. Uh, heading to Manitowage this afternoon, we got a band practice, so uh, I'll be gone for the, the afternoon. Anyways, so I'm just uh, going to turn the, uh, the camera around. I'm going to show you what's going on, so be right back. Hold on. So here we are back on the workbench again, and what I've done, uh, I put probably um, eight coats of true oil on this guitar. So uh, again, I'm using, uh, I'm using this guy right here um, for the guitar refinishing, and uh, a lot of work on it. Uh, it's a lot of hand work, but uh, after eight coats, uh, I let it sit all night so I know it's been a good 12-14 hours. It's all cured. And what I did this morning, I take uh, 1500 grit fine, fine, fine sandpaper and I go over the whole, the whole, the whole instrument, everything. Uh, very, very, very light sanding with that 1500 grit. So I do the front and I do the sides, I do the back, I do the neck, I do the back of the headstock. So uh, I'm at the point now, I'm going to be putting on my final um, probably three or four coats of uh, true oil. Um, now that I've got that foundation down there and a pretty, pretty flat, uh, flat surface all around on the guitar. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little mineral spirits into the true oil. So you're going to see that in another video, but basically uh, I'm going to add probably just, oh, I don't know, uh, sixteenth of an inch of, uh, of uh, uh, mineral spirits in the bottom of one of these cups and then put maybe, you know, uh, I don't know, half an inch of, of true oil. And what that's going to do, that's going to thin the true oil out, uh, make it a little thinner. So what hopefully is going to happen is when I put it back on here, um, it's going to go on a lot thinner and a lot smoother. Uh, than what it is like uh, right out of that bottle. Uh, at least that's the plan. So <laughs> we're going to see what happens. So uh, stay tuned for the next uh, adventure of uh, finishing this Les Paul. It's going to be a fun one. Over and out. Bye. This is going to be an interesting uh, video because uh, what I'm going to be doing is I've done the final... Uh, sand after putting eight coats of uh, true oil on this guitar and then I went and I did a final final sand on it uh, to make sure it's really smooth so this is kind of the the last coats of true oil I'm going to be putting on this guitar uh, to see if we can get it into a nice looking finish and uh, so what I've got is I've got some uh, mineral spirits here, uh, clear, and I'm going to put a little wee bit in a cup, just uh, just a little, just a little bit, just a little bit, not much, just a little wee wee tiny bit, and that's just going to take this true oil and it's going to thin it out. I hope. So I've got just a tad, and I'm going to put in some true oil on top of it. Just like that. I'm going to take the time to mix it to make sure it's mixed well. And I'm going to put the top back on here <laughs> because I learned the hard way. <laughs> Sometimes I leave stuff like this with the top off and uh, hit it with the elbow or I don't know something and Next thing you got a big mess, so uh, I'm going to make sure that that doesn't happen. I'm going to do the same thing with my uh, my true oil as well. I'm going to put the top top back on it as well. So just hang on. I'll be back in a moment once I get these tops on.
Okay. So let's see what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna put the glove on. I have these uh, look like surgical gloves. Is that bloody true oil? The sticky stuff. What I have here is uh, this final one. I use an old T-shirt that uh, I have uh, in my drawer that I don't use anymore, and uh, I'm going to use it because it should be almost, uh, hopefully, 100% lint-free. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll a little ball up, I think, in the center of this thing. So I get something, hopefully, that looks like this, okay? And now we're going to try this. We're going to see what happens. Uh, the other thing I want to make sure of, I don't want this too wet, eh? So I got to be careful that I don't uh, have too much on there. So I'm going to just make sure. And now I'm going to do kind of what they call a French polish, which means I'm going to use a circular motion like this. And I'm rubbing fairly hard, just so you know. This is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing this right in. And that's going on real smooth. I can see that that uh, mineral oil uh, in this uh, true oil really makes a difference applying this. Uh, because in its normal state, when I was putting true oil on the first eight times, it's, it's really sticky. And it, it grabs a lot on the top of the guitar wood. So this, I notice, is going on a lot smoother with that uh, pure mineral oil uh, inside uh, this little cup here mixed up. So I'm going at this real slow and uh, making sure I got this covered well. Make sure I got the edges done too. So go around the edges. I'm not going to be doing the uh, the back and the and that and and the sides. I'm just going to do the top first. I want to get the top done, at least the first coat on, to get a good idea what this true oil is like when it's done like this with the uh, the mineral oil in it to uh, hopefully. Um, thin it out a bit so it goes on smooth and boy does she go on smooth <laughs> so I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna take a little bit more again I'm making sure that I don't have a, a, a big blob on here and I'm gonna re rub this in really good into the wood so you can see the action I'm using on the true oil on this application here and uh, you kind of work the wood as best you can in, in a circular motion and if you watch any videos on on French polishing uh, uh, fine wood this is basically the process that is is used to do that as well is this uh, this circular motion um, and I don't know I think that's probably what I'm gonna do for now Wow let's just uh, let's just take down the uh, the cam here and let's take a look at this right now so I'm just gonna Bring you down here for a kind of a, a view of that. And uh, 
think you can get a pretty good idea of what that's going to look like um, once that's set up. So keep in mind, this is only my first coat um, that I'm putting on uh, right now. Uh, there's going to probably be at least three more coats that's going to go on top of this, uh, um, what I'm applying right now. Uh, you can see there's still a little bit of uh, marks left, uh, but boy, she's pretty, pretty good. And uh, the time I get the other coats on, uh, I think this is going to be a, a pretty good looking uh, finish on this guitar. So hopefully that gives you a good idea and I'll keep you posted and I uh, will show it probably after I get the, the rest of the guitar done and maybe three or four coats applied. So over and out for now. I had to take this uh, short video here just to show kind of uh, you know how you do the body. Uh, this is the cheap man's approach to a, to a guitar a holder and <laughs> you can see what I do. <laughs> I uh, put a screw up here <laughs> on, the, on the top of this overhang and I've got a bungee cord through the uh, one hole in the headstock and uh, hang the guitar. And then uh, from there, I'm in a position where I can do uh, easily do the sides and the back, and I'm not worried about touching the guitar or it's laying anywhere. Just spin it around and do the neck. The other thing too is I've got uh, two or three coats of uh, True Oil on now, the thinned, uh, thinned down version, and you can really start to see what this uh, guitar is going to look like. Uh, I'm looking at the, the finish on this. And I'm really, really, really impressed with uh, the way this this finish is, is coming across because it's just, you can see, um, it's a pretty high gloss uh, finish that you're, you're starting to see on this guitar. Um, yeah, so um, look at the neck. You see the neck as it... Uh, that neck, uh, by the way, after I get another, you know, two or three coats on, I get this really, really shiny. Uh, I'm probably going to let it cure for, uh, I don't know, overnight. And I'm probably going to put it on the buffing machine as well. And then uh, really, really bring out the shine. But this neck, I'm not a lover of a shiny neck um, or, or a neck that, that's, uh, that's got a high gloss on it. So uh, I'm not sure after everything's done, I'm happy with all the, everything on the guitar. I get the electronics back in and everything's running. I might take some real fine steel wool and uh, go over that neck. Um, and basically what that's going to do, just a very fine rubbing, it's going to make that more like a satin finish. Um, so, you know, as you're, you know, if you're using bar cords and whatnot, sliding up and down the neck, uh, sometimes something like a high gloss will grab and uh, that I don't like so that's the only thing right at the end of the whole the whole uh, finishing and the guitar is all done I'll make the decision uh, I'll play it see the way it is and if I don't like the feel I'm gonna like I say I'm gonna touch that neck up with some uh, fine steel wool but uh, overall uh, I don't know can't see the front right now because it's at the back. I was not looking at the light. But that's where we are right to date, folks. So, uh, again, uh, the next video I'm probably going to be putting in the electronics, I would imagine, on that video. Because there's not much more to show you here other than uh, when it's, uh, it's finally done. You'll see that on the bench with the electronics coming in. But, uh, man, I'm, I'm really happy. Looks great. Okay, you all have a good day. Bye-bye.